How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we're doing a US military MRE. This one is menu number two, beef shredded and barbecue sauce. Okay, so we bought this one off of eBay. It looked like a pretty good meal. So I figured we'd try it. And this one, if you can see the reflection is kind of bad today for some reason. Uh, this one is also a warning company. It looks to be late 2000s area. I don't know until I cut it open. Uh, this is off eBay. This doesn't have a date stamp on it. You will see by the time you watch this video, I'll have the date and the title. Uh, but, you know, that being said, let's go ahead and cut it open and see. All right. Pretty heavy ration, actually. And let's see what we got here. First of all, we have the shredded beef. And this is made in... Possibly 2014. We have a little holder here for when you heat it. We have a cold beverage bag. And we have our lemon lime flavored drink. And this one is date stamped to give us some kind of time reference. 2014 so there's two different codes on the on the shredded beef here and one is 0653 another one's 4191 so this would be the 191st day of 2014 and we have our flameless ration heater we have black beans and sauce huh this is 198th day of 2014 not bad. We have some jalapeno cheese spread, which is pretty hard. Pretty hard and spongy. It'll definitely take some kneading to make that work out. Uh, we have our MRE issue spoon. We have a accessory pack, which is dated 195th day, 2014. And it looks to have quite a bit of stuff in there. We'll open that up here in a second. And we have smoked almonds. Kind of cool. I haven't had these before. Uh, maybe we have actually, I can't really remember. A 192nd day of 2014. We have tortillas, plain, uh, made by the Sterling Food, Sterling Food, San Antonio, Texas. And 196th day of 2014. And the last item we have are pretzels, and they feel like they're a little bit on the crunch side. It's kind of cool. As a date stamp of 202.14. So these are all, every item in this bag is made pretty much right around the same date. Usually they vary a little bit, especially on stuff like pretzels or, or nuts. But let's go ahead and get this trade up here and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the pretzels. And <laughs> it'll be kind of hard to get these out of here. It feels like they're just all crumbled up. Nonetheless. Give her a try anyway. Rip her open. Oh, that's not too bad. Go ahead and dump them out here in the center. We don't want to eat that. It felt like there was a bunch in there. There really wasn't that much in it. And then I think we'll go ahead and do the smoked almonds. And the smoked almonds. And the serving size 19 grams, serving for tenor 1, 120 calories. So that'll be a nice little tree if you're out somewhere fighting a war. Or even if you're out camping. With a nice scent to them, nice smoked scent. Not many in it though, a very tiny amount. And that was the whole bag. And then let me see here. Let's go ahead and get this accessory pack opened up and see what we got in it. We're gonna see we have gum and all kinds of stuff in it. I'm gonna rip her open. And we have something a little different in it right out of the gate. We have some barbecue sauce. We'll put that in our utensil holder there. We have our coffee, type three. 
feels a little crusty, but it should be all right. We'll set that right off to the side. And it's kind of interesting. There's a package of sweetener, a Splenda. And I don't see the actual package of sugar. It's kind of odd. Then we have coffee creamer, non-dairy. It's got a day code of 156, 2014. It actually does not feel clumped up. A moist towelette. We have our iodized salt. And we have our teepee for a bung. Oh, it's like somebody sat on it and squished it. It's pretty flat. We'll put that up there. And we have our two chiclets, just regular standard chiclets. They're not the the red wrapper cinnamon ones. That's all right. And let me see here. We'll have to knead this cheese spread, man. It's pretty hard. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Next time I turn the camera off, I'll knead it really good. And so what we have here, we have our sleeve, put our items in. I think what we might do here, we might try to sandwich these guys in between the ration heater. Something like that. And we'll try to cram them down in that pouch. I think it should fit. Maybe. Probably not. That's all right. We'll get it figured out. Okay, guys. So we have the entrees and the tortillas boiling in boiling water. They would not fit in the ration heater sleeve. One thing I did notice here with this ration, there's no crackers. So we have cheese spread. So I guess it's meant to be put on the, uh, on the pulled pork. I don't really know. We're going to find out, though. So let's go ahead and make up our lemon lime beverage base. And we know from past experiences that a glass that big takes about half of this. If you put more than that, it's crazy overpowered. You can see the yellow powder in there. It doesn't really smell like anything. It smells kind of like chemicals, to be honest with you. Do about half. That's probably about half. Have it a little bit on the leaner side than overly potent. Pour water in. Instantly a yellowish green, more of green. Get our MRE issue spoon out here. We'll give that a quick stir. And usually, let's set this stuff off to the side. Get these one good stir, let it set for a little while. Get all the crap, wash up a spoon. Come back, give it one final stir, and usually we're done. We won't be, we could have used the beverage bag, but you know, whatever. So we have our cheese spread here. We're going to set that guy. Up there, up to the side, and I think we're ready to make the coffee next. So let's go ahead and get some hot water going for that, and we'll be back. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our coffee up here, and we have some hot water. We just got super hot. Our coffee. like a freeze-dried coffee, some pretty big chunks in it. Dump her in there. Get this guy out of the way. We'll give her a stir. Looks pretty thick. We'll go ahead and do some of our creamers a little bit hard, not bad. After doing that case of MREs in the 90s, something that's a little funky is no big deal. All right. About a half pack of creamer, and we'll go ahead and do a little bit of Splenda. I think I read somewhere Splenda's supposed to be bad for you now. I don't remember what the <laughs> what it did to you, but it wasn't too good. It's like the new aspartame. Go ahead and give her a good stir, and we're gonna set this guy off to the side. Let 
that do its thing. All right, it looks like our lemon lime drink's pretty much totally done. We have everything's out of the boiling water here. We try to do it in the microwave, and usually the microwave will work on the green packets if you don't get crazy with it. Put it in for a minute, take it out, put it in for another minute. I had it in there for maybe five seconds, and look what happened to it. It just charred the end of it. So I don't know why this one at work, but it didn't. I'm pretty warm. And we discard of that guy. And they didn't break because they're warm when we did it. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side for right now. We have our other entrees here. And look at the char on that bad boy. This one's really hot. And this is the shredded beef. Open up opposite end from the char marks. We'll just basically squeeze it out like a tube of toothpaste on the tray. It looks good. It looks real good, actually. Squeeze her on out of here. Pretty hot. Okay. There's that guy. And then last of all, ooh, that baby's real hot. Is our what's it, black beans? Yeah, black beans and sauce. So we're getting our tortillas out of the way a little bit. Let's go ahead and you can see the char on that. That actually charted to the point where it had a little drip coming out of it. So when we boiled it, I made sure to leave this end out of the boiling water. The black beans smell pretty good, really. It's almost a chili smell to it. They are crazy hot. Yeah, I would say the boiling actually worked pretty good in this instance. We'll just squeeze her on out there. Man. Fold that over and set it over here. Okay. It It is really, truly almost like a chili. But we have our jalapeno cheese stuff here. Let's just go ahead and try this. What's this camera doing, acting all weird? Let's go ahead and try this. Try a little piece of this. I have a little coffee on our spoon, but it'll be all right. That smells really good, guys. Really good. Not bad. Ever so slight metal taste to it, which is from the preservatives and being in that pouch. Overall, not bad. It's actually got real chunks of beef in it. As you can see here, maybe. Big chunk of beef. Hmm. Go and try our beans out here. Beans smell like chili. They really do. You can see the consistency is kind of thicker also. It's a little bit of cumin. It just has that, that preservative taste though. Ever since I ate those, um, those beans, was it tomato sauce of beans from the 90s? It's like permanently mentally scarred me for life, I think. Go ahead and try a smoked almond. They smell good. Not bad. Nice and salty. Try a little bit of our coffee here. Yep, that's coffee. 
Not too bad with the creamer and stuff in it, though. Let's take a look at our lemon lime drink. It's like 90% of it settled out. It smells just like lime, like lime candy. Not bad, like a Kool-Aid type situation. Doesn't taste bad at all, really. But that being said, let's try some more barbecue sauce here. Maybe let's razor knife the very corner of it off. And let's just try a little bit at first. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and give her a little a little drizzle of this. And I'm gonna put some of this on the beans. I think that would go well with the beans. Before we forget, we'll go ahead and try our pretzels. Not bad. I think what we're gonna do, I needed this quite a bit. I made sure to get all the corners really good. We're gonna go cut the corner off our cheese spread, a jalapeno cheese spread. This should go really good with this barbecue. It smells like jalapeno cheese. I'll try a little, a little bit first, huh? Don't get too crazy with it. It looks, the color is good on it. It's not all brown and weird like sometimes they are. Let's go ahead and try it once here. It's pretty good, guys. Not bad. A lot of guys say this is their favorite MRE meal. This is probably number two or number three for me. The best one is still the cold weather MREs. Speaking of that, I have another one of those coming. I'm trying to remember what it was now. It was Western style uh, scrambled eggs. I'm going to make us a little taco of this stuff here. Some extra sauce on it. And give us a nice squeeze of cheese. That's probably the better cheese spread, man. It looks so good. It's not brown and weird and creepy looking. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this. Squeeze it back so it don't squish out all over us. Not bad. That's pretty good. For a standard MRE, that's probably the best one I've had. The Chili Mac one wasn't bad. There's so many we haven't had yet. You know, I was going to just buy a case or two of them, but I think I like more to be able to cherry pick the ones individually off eBay. You know, it really is a good meal. Not bad at all. Get the tequila out of the way so you can see the almonds. Overall, I would give it probably, MRE-wise, 8 out of 10. The little tortillas for the, the barbecue tacos is a nice touch. Really not bad. We didn't try the beans with the sauce on them. Let's go ahead and do that. A lot better. Those would be better yet with some cheese on them. I mean, what's not better with cheese on it, right? Cheese, a little extra sauce. Let's try it. Perfect. With the cheese and sauce, that cuts out that metally taste to it. And, you know, it tastes like something you make on the stove. It tastes really good. But that's all for today's video, guys. Hopefully you liked today's video. If you did like today's video, leave a comment, like, share the video. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all you guys watching. Have a good day. So all you guys ask me if I eat everything all the time. This is about as far as I can make it with this. And I'm a pretty hungry dude. And just after that much, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I'm good. That's about enough for me. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.